How to move to Houston from out of state. That's today's video. I will be walking you through the process that two of my clients had to go through. One was relocating down here to Houston and they had to sell their home in Ohio. The other was relocating from California down here for work. That way you have an understanding of the process just in case you're thinking about becoming a Texan yourself. I'm Giovanni Frank, your local Houston realtor with Lionsgate Realty, and let's jump right into it. Thanks to YouTube, I've been able to assist quite a few families over the last two years, relocate down here to Texas from all over the United States, mainly California, but I've even had somebody from South Africa from outside of the country relocate down here. But today I wanna to focus on the two most recent clients who relocated down here, that being one from Ohio and one from California. We'll start off with my client from Ohio. He had an extra step where he had to sell his home in Ohio before he could relocate down here to Texas. He first originally reached out to me because he saw some of my YouTube videos. My first conversation with anybody who's thinking about doing anything in real estate, it's always three questions. You know, it's how, when, and why. So of course, the most important is always your why. His why was that there was more opportunity down here for him in employment and also for his family when it comes to education. Our school systems ended up being a little bit better than what he had in Ohio. So when he was already looking about putting his house on the market, he had already talked to a realtor that he found off of Zillow, recommended. That kind of went a little rough, but he couldn't find the local realtor. So he had to go through a Zillow recommended realtor. Once he sold his home, he was gonna use that as a sizable down payment to get a house down here in Houston. And his win was anywhere in between the next three months. So he called me at the end of December, he wanted something by the beginnings of April. So anywhere in between the next three months, he was ready to go. He had already made his decision, made up his mind. He saw my videos. He found three areas in my videos that he really liked, that being Clear Lake, Baytown, and Crosby. Once we got that figured out, I told him, okay, cool. Let's sit down and talk with a lender. I introduced him to one of my lenders. They were able to give him a price range based on how much he could sell his home for, which it ended up being really good because he got his home under contract in the first week. There was a lack of inventory in Ohio, so his home went like this. Once we figured that out, he flew down here and decided to check out the areas in person. I showed him a few homes within those areas and I also took him out to eat and kind of, you know, just explore the amenities around. So he got a better feel for it. He flew back home and by the time he was back home, his home was already under contract and it was already past the inspection period, which was great. So he brought his wife in the next week and we started looking at houses that fit the criteria in Crosby because he fell in love with the Crosby area. Baytown was a little big for him and so was the Clear Lake. So we showed his wife the Crosby area, same thing, she fell in love with Newport. We looked at a few houses there and it ended up being the very last house that they really liked, that they fell in love with and they weren't expecting to like that house. We did two days of showings. By the time that they called me back, hey, we're gonna move forward with this house. Can you write us up an offer so we can submit? Of course, I get on it, get on the ball, start writing up the offer. By the time we're ready to submit it, I start pulling up the, the house on my end and I can't no longer find it. And I was like, wait, wait, hold on. What's going on here? Did somebody make an offer within those two hours that they beat us to it? So I start calling and it's an open door house. So I call open door. Oh no, corporate has decided to take the property off market because there are some repairs that they want to do to it. I was like, hey, my clients saw the house just two hours ago. They like how it is now. They're willing to make an asking price offer. Can we go ahead and move forward? And if there's any repairs that need to be made during the inspection period, we can negotiate then. Oh no, corporate has already made a decision to take it off market. We'll let you know as soon as it comes back on market. I talked to my clients. I let them know the news that we heard. And I was like, look, they said that the repairs weren't too major. They're gonna try and knock them out as soon as possible. Those repairs ended up taking almost a month. And within that month period, my clients didn't want to look at any other houses. They had already gone back to Ohio. They didn't want to make any more trips down here. And they said, look, Giovanni, this is really going to be our forever home. Everything that's on the market right now or that we saw really didn't entice us to buy. Worst case scenario, if it takes too long for that house to come back on the market, we'll go ahead and rent. Can you help us out with renting? So I was doing, I was balancing both, sending them rental properties within that month. And every single week within that month, every every three days I was calling, hey, is the house back on the market? No, not yet. Can you give me an update? No, we can't. And so like the very last day, it, it was crazy because it just ended up being perfect. They were closing on their house already. That home that they're looking for down here in Crosby goes back on the market. 
bam, we get it under contract that same day and everything went pretty smooth after we got the house under contract. Of course, they had already done some repairs. They put granite countertops. So it ended up working out pretty well for them. The price ended up being kind of the same. It was just a little bit higher, but they got better flooring, they got better paint and they got granite countertops. Those were the upgrades that we're gonna do. It really wasn't repairs. We did inspections on the house. Everything came back pretty good. We ended up doing a closing on a Saturday, which was crazy because I had never done that myself. His wife did the paperwork in Ohio. They mailed the paperwork back down here to Houston. He did it on Saturday, mailed it back to title company, closed on a Monday. So they got their keys. They're super excited. Already had his job and everything laid out out here. He had already started working a week before he closed on his house. So that was pretty great. And right now they're down here and they're officially a Texan now. So that was a process for my client from Ohio who had to sell a house. So it is possible if you need to sell your home wherever you're at currently and relocate down here. I've helped a few people do that before. That was my most recent one that we were able to help. And then there's always gonna be hiccups here and there, right? It's never gonna be a 100% smooth process. My client from Ohio situation is a little more rare. I usually don't get people who need to sell and buy while they're relocating down here to Houston. They usually already sold their home and looking to relocate or they don't have a home to sell. That's what happened to my client from California. They didn't have a home to sell. They originally found my content on Instagram for new construction, reached out to me, and of course, like always, my first conversation is the why, how, and when. Their why was because there's better job opportunity, better pay, lower taxes down here in Texas. That really attracted them and they wanted to move down here. Their how, well, they're gonna find a job down here or get their job to transfer them because that was an option. It was just a time frame kind of thing that they needed to wait on. And then their win was a six month time period that they wanted to get this done. They could wait a little bit longer, but six months was their, their goal within six months. So, of course, the first thing that I did was, you know what, since we have some time, let's go ahead and talk to my lender now. So my lender ran them through the process. Their credit was really good. Their debt to income was low. So as long as they could find a job down here or get transferred down here to Texas and the pay master was a little bit more than what they were making in California, they were more than likely going to get qualified for a pretty sizable amount of home down here in Texas. Once we got that done, okay, what was the next step? We planned it out. Now let's see, can you find a job down here or will your job transfer you? Luckily for him, they were able to find a position for him down here in Texas. It was gonna be an extra four months before he could move down here. So that still fit within his six month time period. He was able to make that happen. And his wife also had a job down here. She's a nurse and down here in Texas, I mean, there's jobs for nurses left and right. So she was able to find a job pretty quick. It was nothing for her to worry about. It was mainly him. Whenever she was able to find a job and he was able to get that transfer, now was the time to go ahead and get pre-approved again to see exactly how much he could get. They pre-approved him, they gave him a price range, which was a pretty sizable amount for the two of them, and they were super excited. All that the lender required was before closing, they needed their first check stub from their job. So they needed to be at their job, or was it two weeks before they closed on a house, that way they'd have their first check stub. That's what the lender required. So it really depends on your lender. Sometimes they'll have that uh, stipulation or, or they won't. Well, it was mainly for the wife because she got with somebody down here. His job was just transferred, so he didn't have to worry about that. It was just her. Once they had all the loan requirements on their end and they knew that they could meet those, it was time to start looking at the areas along with the homes that they wanted. So the areas that they pointed out to me were pretty similar to my Ohio client, except that they didn't want Baytown. They really wanted the Clear Lake area, Seabrook, Webster, all of that little area right there, kind of like Galveston County area. We set up a time frame for them to come down here and actually see the area in person, you know, not just off of the details and the videos that I showed them. Of course, they fell in love with the area. We looked at a few houses. The only problem here was that it was a pretty sizable time frame, time period, before they could actually make an offer on the house. A month and a half went by and it was time for them to look for a house because they could put a home under contract now. They came down here, viewed a few homes. We found two that they liked. One was off the market before we even got to make an offer on it. The other one, they got their offer accepted. We were able to get them $10,000 off of the price of the house and $5,000 towards their closing cost. They went through the inspection phase. This one did need a little bit of work. We got the seller to fix a few things along with the 5,000 that was already going towards their closing cost. So they got that under contract. The home appraised that value and they met their loan requirements like the week before they needed to close. So their process went pretty smooth, right? It, they were able to close on their house and now they're officially Texans themselves as well. So that was a process for my client from California. If you don't need to sell a house, the process is usually a lot easier, especially 
If you have a job that's willing to transfer you down here to Texas, that's always gonna be a lot easier and you get your pre-approval a lot faster and you don't necessarily have to wait that week or two weeks of you working at a new job in order for you to turn in your pay stub to the loan officer for them to approve you. But of course, always talk to your loan officer before you're thinking about making a major move like that. Make sure that we have all your ducks in a row before you even fly down here, right? That's always my main thing. Make sure that you can get pre-approved before you even waste that $500 plane ticket to come down here to view the areas and tour a few homes with me. We we'll always wanna make sure we have that ready for you guys. That was the process for my two most recent clients who relocated from out of state down here to Houston. Again, one had a home to sell while they were buying down here. The other one was just able to relocate down here because he got a job down here in Texas. If you have any questions regarding the process of relocating down here to Houston, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Giovanni Frank, your local Houston Realtor with Lionsgate Realty, and I put all my information down in the description below. Until next time.